everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Wednesday, February 26, 2023, and there was two earthquakes there in Georgia. Uh, the most recent was a 2.4, which was last night. Uh, that one occurred at 6.01 p.m., and it was 2.7 miles in depth, fairly shallow. Before that, there was a magnitude 2.2 that occurred at 2.23 p.m. It was deeper. Uh, let me bring this down. 6.7 miles in depth. I did download one um, seismic zone. I got the data from that earthquake. Yes, I'm quick popping. Here you can see it rattled for quite a while. Um, but it was probably a real gentle rattle as it went on and I do in fact have a magnitude 2.2 earthquake here you can see we got um, heated water that came up again this earthquake was 6.7 miles in depth this was by Menlo Georgia only one person said that they felt it intensity level 3 the report came from near Huntsville uh, now that one was about 97 kilometers to the west so that would be about 60 miles so you know more people felt this earthquake than um yeah they didn't bother sending in reports intensity level three which means it was felt noticeably indoors but not always recognized as an earthquake standing autos would have been rocking slightly vibration like a passing truck what did it feel like to you and how long did it last Again, it was at 2.23 p.m. local time. This would have been within the uh, Tennessee seismic zone, which I got drawn out. And zooming in, yeah, a lot of forests, grasslands, uh, mountains. Let me bring it out a little bit so you can see what I got drawn out. It isn't very far from the Pigeon Mountain Volcanic Range. Yeah, this is an ancient range where we got volcano, volcanoes, volcan volcanic activity. Back in 1948, uh, local residents of that area said that the mountain, Pigeon Mountain, was putting out ash and smoke. Um, there was a strong smell of sulfur. So, I don't know. Um, if that's really true, but that was in some reports of newspapers that I had found about that location. So it might explain. Let me show you. Let me go back. Why well, here on the spectrogram it does show, yeah, heated gases or water coming up. Now, while the monitor that I downloaded the data from doesn't show the earthquake that occurred at 601, there was a lot of heat coming up you can see that here and let me go to the uh, seismic signature yeah right there now this is 2303 you can see we got slow moving um tremors that were going on and let me bring it down look at this here look at that and we'll go to the spectrogram there's been a few other small activity since um, those two tremors we got another one right here and we'll look at the uh, seismic signature you yeah, know this is all fault movement and some more there we'll go to the spectrogram this is a, a torlino many of you are probably familiar see the heat that's coming up torlinos uh, for, if they're a long duration are indication that magma is on the move and seeing how this area does have oh, I'm trying to bring this down past volcanic history yeah I wouldn't be surprised and then more recently we got some more popping this is what it was showing when I pulled the files and we'll go to the spectrogram so we'll go to the location of the second earthquake which is um, southeast and it's quite a ways away no one sent in reports for this earthquake and you can see we got 
farmland growing here and we'll bring it out now this earthquake the 2.4 um, at 601 p.m. was about 10 miles northwest of Cochrane Georgia and that's about 100 miles south of Atlanta and roughly 25 miles south of uh, Macon according to Georgia Tech the uh, Tennessee seismic zone is only second to the uh, New Madrid seismic zone for the East Coast yeah they have a lot of earthquakes in this location uh, Georgia itself doesn't or hasn't experienced many serious earthquakes originating within the state but it has had its fair share that they have felt the first quake reportedly felt in Georgia was the great New Madrid series of earthquakes between 1811 and 1812. Many of you are probably very familiar with that earthquake. Um, it even made the Mississippi River run backwards. And then later in 1886, there was the Charleston, uh, South Carolina earthquake. Now that earthquake killed over 60 people and just flatly destroyed the town that's over here yeah just another indication a reminder people do need to be prepared uh, for large earthquakes they can happen at any time this is the most recent right here feel this earthquake or the other earthquake how long did it last what did the motion feel like please put your comments down below thank you very much for watching Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.